What's up guys, Game Nut here, and welcome back to some more Man 16 Ultimate Team. And in this one for you guys, we are going to be continuing our journey in the playoffs. We've made it back. We're currently going to be playing in the Conference Championship in this episode, trying to get our way back to a second straight Super Bowl. But however you guys can see, the Super Bowl in real life has obviously already ended, and we've gotten some new Super Bowl legends in the game. You can see Ty Law, Torrey Holt, there's also Aaron Rodgers. And you guys see it, Ray Lewis, 98 overall, and look, man, I don't know how I'm going to get this dude on my team. The set is expensive. His normal card is expensive. At some point, this card will be starting on my team, but I just don't know how I'm going to get the coins for it. So you guys saw my lineup. There was a missing hole in our defense. That was the right end position. So the guy I decided to pick up was Cliff Averill, 89 overall, football outsider elite. You can see the stats now. When we look at the auction house, you can see that his lowest buy now price is 19,000 coins. And it just so happened that, you know, when I went to go look for this Cliff Averill, I was able to snipe him for only 7,000 coins. So a pretty nice little steal I was able to get to add to our team, which finishes our lineup, now makes us a 91 overall. And I think that is just what we need to continue on. Moving forward in the playoffs, one last look at our offense. And now, like I said earlier, you guys know the course of Super Bowl in real life is over. And, you know, if you're living under a rock, if you don't know by now, the Denver Broncos obviously did win. Congratulations to my guys, the Broncos. And we have MVP, Von Miller. This guy just absolutely killed it out there. You can see his 99 overall card. It is insane. So, like I said, going into the conference championship game, you guys can see 1,750 coins as well as the pack to go ahead. And if we actually win, those will be the rewards that we get. So, in this game, we will be playing home. Of course, you know, we're suited up as the Denver Broncos. We have this entire season, so we're starting things off with the kickoff. And my opponent pauses the game. Like, what? Who goes into a game, kicks the ball off, and rage quits instantly? That's, that's really something special, man. I have absolutely no idea what that was about but in case you guys you know aren't putting two and two together yet him quitting just gave us a free walk into the Super Bowl so I don't know what that was about but you know what it's the Super Bowl baby so here we go I'm excited about this hopefully this guy doesn't rage quit and let's see what we've got in store for us so far so this game however we are kicking off to our opponent and it looks like he's going to be starting with the ball in this game, as you can obviously tell, he's lined up or he's uniformed as the Pittsburgh Steelers. And to start things off, he's going to be rushing with Todd Gurley. Now, I'm not exactly sure which version of Todd Gurley this exactly is, but just know that he's got him back there. Now, on a second and six, you guys can see that was Cliff Averill, our new pickup, blowing up Todd Gurley in the backfield. So, definitely a great pickup that we had right there, letting us know that he can make plays in the backfield for us. So, Jameis Winston is his quarterback. He's finding Martavius Bryant on the out route to go ahead and pick up a first down. Now first and ten. I don't know who just whiffed that tackle right there, but that led to Todd Gurley moving forward and getting a nice reception. Second and ten now, Jameis Winston looking to go with the passing play. A little drag route right across the middle of the field, but I was there with Michael Kendricks to lock that down. He goes with a no huddle. Third and eight now. Let's see who he's going to be making the play. He's going with some slants across the middle of the field. I was almost there to get the interception, but... Thankfully, we were able to stop it. My opponent played it smart and punted the ball. Now, obviously, as you can tell, my opponent had a pretty solid punt, the best that you can possibly get. He put us at the one-yard line, so trying to get some breathing room with Walter Payton, going up, getting about six yards on the first rush. We're going right back to him, and this dude, he's doing it again, putting on the dance moves, two spin moves in a row, and gets tackled by his shoelaces. After a 46-yard rush is of what I believe that play ended up coming out to. An impressive way to come out on the run game. Third and ten now, two plays later. We find Travis Kelsey towards the sideline. And after a missed tackle, Travis Kelsey just has nothing but open field in front of him to go into the end zone and give us the first score of our Super Bowl, giving us a nice sign of daylight, letting us know that you know maybe we'll be able to win this Super Bowl as we're going up seven to nothing strong here on our first possession. So, kicking things back off to my opponent. And he fumbles. It is John Brown, the Schefter star. He actually goes ahead and fumbles the ball on the kickoff. So now our first play back in 
Jonathan Joseph with the interception. Landry's the one. What am I doing, man? Nice job, but it doesn't it's like disgusting to watch that side, back. Like so I, I absolutely cannot believe that I made that read, man. I saw it as soon as it happened. I'll be honest with you guys. The reason I threw that is because I wanted Jarvis Landry to get a little bit of daylight on our team, or you know, to see a little bit of work and get him some receptions. And for some reason, you know, I just completely ignored the fact that there was a defender right there and, and threw it anyway. I, that was just the biggest mistake I could have ever made in the Super Bowl. So you guys can see after a couple of plays, my opponent's now faced with a fourth and eight. Of course, he's going to go for it. But this time it's our defense that is coming up, saving us. And Desmond Trufant is getting the interception now. Of course, we're all the way back at our own three-yard line again, so we've got a little bit of work to do. First and ten, however, throwing this one back to Jarvis Landry. And I can't catch a break, man. I mean, I saw the one-on-one -on -one coverage with Jarvis. I thought he was going to have the edge there. In two plays, two interceptions. This is not the way we want to come out and play in our Super Bowl, man. We could have had such a great lead with the turnovers that we have been getting, but we're just giving it right back to my opponent. So next play, first and 10 for him. He goes to Crockett Gilmore, another Schefter start he has on his team. Second and goal now, Jameis Winston just throws up a ball to Doriel Green Beckham. I believe that is the man superlative version of him, and that's just unfair. A height advantage, obviously, right there. So my opponent ties this game up now, 7-7, seven to seven, and we really need to get back into things here. So first and 10, we're going with a play action. John Elway and offensive line is not helping me out too much right now. Next play, second and 20. Elway scrambling to the left side of the field. I see Travis Kelsey. Thankfully, John Elway has a fantastic throw on the run. He makes a nice, accurate pass, and we get the first down. However, two plays later, it is a third and five now. Looking for Keenan Allen. He's got that covered, but look at this man. What is my offensive line doing? Three guys were on top of me to sack me. I mean, like, seriously, what is the point of having an offensive line if somehow three guys are going to be able to come instantly through and sack me? So, second and four, you guys can see from my opponent, he's got 30 seconds left in the second quarter. And, uh, yeah, it's happening, you guys. It's just going downhill from here. I can't believe this. He just throws up one of those prayers. Of course it works for him. And he goes right back to the same guy again, Doriel Green Beckham. Gets his second touchdown of the day. Having a big day at that is what I should say. And my opponent now has the lead in this game, 14-7. to So we've got to go back to the run game here. Walter Payton, this is the guy that, you know, had that 46-yard rush at the start of things here. So we've got to see if we can get him back into it. Second and four, finally finding this guy, Jarvis Landry. This is who I've been looking for and making mistakes by looking for him. So finally getting a little bit of work in our team. Second and ten now, one play later. We're going with another play action. Everybody's covered. He's going with some man defense here, but look at this. I see Keenan Allen has a step on his defender, barely able to beat his man and come up with a 52-yard catch to put us all the way down here at the six-yard line. But you guys are going to see it's third down. And a couple of run plays right up the middle. Somehow my opponent was able to stop him, and he also stops the toss play. And after such a great possession, again, it's just my opponent is coming out on defense and just playing spectacular, not allowing me to get the touchdown. I didn't want to throw it and make an interception. I just tried rushing it with my great, you know, running backs and fullbacks that I have, trying to see if I could do something. So my opponent's next possession, you guys can see the clock is ticking down almost into the fourth quarter. A fourth and two now. And it's this guy again, man. Green Beckham getting this catch, slant across the middle of the field, able to pick up a first. And now the clock is completely against us. Third and nine. I mean, seriously, that should have been a stop. And somehow that free Jerry Rice card that everybody got is able to break out of a tackle. And look at this. Again, Todd Gurley is stumbling and is able to somehow fall like almost 10 yards for a first down. Third and eight. Jameis Winston's looking to the side of the field. Michael Kendrick's man, you've got to have better awareness and be able to put your hands out when the ball's right there. So finally, after an insanely long time of my opponent having the ball, chewing so much clock, we finally got the ball back. However, we're down by seven points, but we've got to see if we can do something here. Going back to Walter Payton, that doesn't seem to be the answer right now. Only getting about three yards on that rushing play. I've got to go with the no huddle. And I mean, obviously, I've got to pass the ball here. So second and seven, you know, I'm trying to see what kind of plays are going to work here. We're going with the play action. 
and this time we finally find a man open. This one is for Travis Kelsey. He's getting a little bit of work back into our team, getting a reception right there. No, now a first and ten. We've got to go back with the play action. My opponent's got a lot of zones going on right here. He's got the man covered. I wanted to throw to and. My mind is just as blown as you guys are. I have no idea how I just connected that pass to Jarvis, but second and ten. Offensive line is just continuing to disappoint. I don't know how these blitzes are getting through. A fourth and twenty. This is it right here, man. One shot at the end zone to take this game into overtime. We're throwing it up deep. For two seasons in a row, we end up coming short of the Super Bowl again, and it's just so disappointing, man. I can't believe that I had such a great start to that game, and we ended up having to lose another Super Bowl after such a great season, so it sucks, man. You guys just saw my lineup. You've all got to get one last look at the lineup because in the next season, we're going to be getting rid of a lot of those guys and bringing in a ton of new starters to start this new season, hopefully, which will be, you know, our third season here at Ultimate Team. I'm going to be trying to, you know, make it back into the Super Bowl and actually freaking win one this time, man. I can't believe this. Like, I don't, I don't know. I played so bad in that Super Bowl. It disgusts me to sit here and watch this back and have to, you know, to bring this to you guys because I just want to bring a Super Bowl victory to all of you, but it is what it is. I sucked playing that game. There's nothing that can change about it, so hopefully all of you guys did enjoy. I do know that the videos have been a little bit slow lately, but I just got back into college, so I'm trying to get myself back on a set schedule to upload like three videos a week for you guys, so hopefully all of you are cool with that. If you guys are, then I really do appreciate it. Everything, you know, that you guys do for me, all the support you put out for every single video I upload, it's just, it's insane. So I love you guys for it. You guys seriously are the best. And once again, hopefully all of you enjoyed. Go ahead and look at my lineup one last time to see if there's anybody, you know, want to put down in the comment section you want to see on my team for the next season if he's not too expensive, of course. I know I do have a lot of coins, but I'm not trying to go out and spend all three million of my coins to upgrade my players. I don't want to, you know, spend any more than like a million at that but I will be upgrading a lot of positions. So once again, hopefully all of you guys did enjoy it. Thank you all so much for watching. Take it easy, guys, and peace out.